would you play a tabletop game just because of the lore, or would you get into it just because of the lore? That's what we're going to talk about today. Does lore matter when you play a game with little plastic figures? Let's check it out. I have been playing Warhammer for about 20 years or so, and in that time, there have been a lot of lore changes, additions, redos. There's been a lot of story going on in Warhammer World. And if you've been playing for a while, you know what I'm talking about. If you're just getting into it, I've got some, uh, some news for you. Here's the deal. Warhammer is mostly split into two factions, right? We have the 40k futuristic sci-fi and then Age of Sigmar, which is your fantasy stuff. Now, if you have been playing for as long as I have, you know that there's a lot of story that goes into these two categories. And maybe there's some things that like you like about them. Me, I, I tend to really enjoy the fantasy lore of Warhammer more than the 40k. Personal preference, right? Uh, but if you really like Warhammer 40k and you really like sci-fi stuff, I've got some great news. Games Workshop likes you a lot more than they like us fantasy nerds um, because they really put a whole lot of stock into their uh, God King Emperor who looks like he's just having a really bad headache day like this that that looks unpleasant I, I must say but there's a lot going on here in Warhammer 40,000 the idea is that it is year 40,000 ish all right with the big emphasis on ish and Empire, the Empire of Man has spread all over the world. It went great until it didn't. Uh, they've met some aliens. They've really been going up against them. There are a lot of alien factions that have their own agendas happening here, but then there's people who are doing their own people thing. Oh, and don't forget, there's also like a Chaos Dimension Hell playscape called The Warp, and it's real bad. So, uh, lots of stuff going on in 40k that could be really fun for you if you like a very deep, very involved fantasy, uh, I won't say hard science fiction, very soft. Come at me in the comments. <laughs> and it's really neat that there's so much to go into this game because really, let's remember, this is a game where we paint little plastic dudes and play a game with them on the table with dice and measuring tape. Some people might see that and think like, oh, well that's not very involved, like there doesn't need to be a lot that goes into that. Well, Games Workshop was like, hey, we want to make sure everyone can enjoy our little game system that we have, whether you play it or you only read it. In fact, I, I was in the bookstore the other day with my daughter, which hanging out, chilling in the bookstore, and somebody walked up to like the sci-fi area and just looking around with his uh, significant other and said, "Where, where's the Warhammer stuff?" It's a big deal that you can walk into like a big box bookstore and expect to find fandom stuff based off your little nerd game where you paint plastic miniatures. Like, we, we're we living in good times for us who really enjoy this nerd stuff, right? Unfortunately, the problem is that for uh, us fantasy people, like, things got weird, all right? And, and if you remember fantasy back in the day, like 8th edition, the giant rule book, uh, that for me was like, my time. I really enjoyed the lore at that point in the story. I, to be honest, as an Empire player like these guys here, I actually really enjoyed everything that was going on with the uh, lore at that point too. Like with the big empire and the one giant fantasy world like for me that was really cool I, I enjoyed looking at the maps and seeing where all of these fantasy factions were and in location to the other one and that's where the ogres live and over here on like 
the other side of the world. That's where the Dark Elves are and the High Elves live here on this little island. A whole bunch of cool stuff like that. Uh, for me, that was great. And, uh, until, until they blew it up. <laughs> Because that was like the entirety, the entire thing of the end of Warhammer 8th Edition, is they blew up old school fantasy Warhammer, and instead inserted Age of Sigmar. And for me, I was a little salty about that at first because they took a a world that I loved and they changed it, they killed it, they got rid of it, and then they put in this new thing so with like ugh, circle bases, <laughs> but. Uh, and time, I've come to love the game of Age of Sigmar. Unfortunately, a lot more than I like the lore of Age of Sigmar. Now, like I said, if you enjoy Warhammer 40k, like the futuristic stuff, you're in luck because there are a lot of books. So much so that it can be like a little overwhelming on where you should actually start. We're not talking like 20 books or 50, we're talking like hundreds of books. And it can feel like a lot if you're trying to just get into the lore. And if you were to ask the question, where should I start? You're going to get a lot of different answers. One of the things that you should probably look at is if you're wanting to start with Warhammer lore, find an army that you like and try to see what they have for them. Now here's an issue that you might come up with. Maybe you like a really new army, like Leagues of Votan. Well, they're brand new to the Warhammer 40k setting, unless you count like squats when they used to be space dwarves like back in the day. Games Workshop has not given them near as much love as they've given, say, the entire Space Marine section. <laughs> but the good news is, if you do like lore, you can find some stuff in each codex that's released, this book of rules. So even if you're coming into Warhammer not really for the you know, gameplay, this book right here could be a fun place for you to get started when it comes to finding out more about this race that you find really interesting. Uh, or you could head to your local gaming store and ask people around there what they want. I remember when I was introducing my uh, then fiance, now wife, to Warhammer, we just popped into a Warhammer store just to see what was going on. And I remember saying, you know, hey, uh, I'm here. I love Warhammer. But this is my wife. She's never played before. And one particular guy began explaining all of the Age of Sigmar realms slash pla planes, planets, existence, areas, and going into this really crazy convoluted uh, explanation of how Warhammer lore works. So um, your results may vary if you just pop into the store and ask somebody where you should start. I think my poor wife was very confused by that. And so was I, and I play. Regardless, do you like playing a game that has really deep lore, maybe so much that it can be hard to get uh, started in it and find a good place? Or do you prefer, prefer a game that has a minimal amount of lore, like scant amount that you can really build on in your own imagination? There's a lot of different stuff out there, and. Honestly, I'd, I'd really love to hear your opinion. As you know, if you're watching this channel, I really am enjoying one-page rules. Like, I'm finding it to be really fun. But to compare the lore of one-page rules versus the lore of War Warhammer is kind of crazy because there's some for one-page rules. You go on their website, you can look at the factions that they have. They have some stuff fleshed out that I'm finding to be really fun and interesting to learn about. Uh, versus Warhammer, where you have libraries full of content, but then maybe you have no idea where to start. I'm not saying one is particularly good versus the other. What I am asking you is to tell me down in the comments which you prefer. Because I hear from people a lot, I play Warhammer because of the lore. Is that you? Like, do you play a game just because of the lore, or does you find the lore to be a side part, something that enhances your game, 
but you don't really care either way. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video and for thinking about Warhammer lore with me for a little bit. I really appreciate it. Would you do me a favor? If you're liking this stuff, would you like this video? Would you hit the little subscribe button down there and subscribe to the channel? It would do a lot for me and it would help me kind of continue to grow and make some content here on YouTube and add to your day as well, I hope. Hey, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week.